This is the daily video update for Wednesday, January 21st, 2021. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Uh, doing something a little bit different for updates for the rest of the week. I'm attempting to record them on the Jim Shug Trail up here in Dryden, New York, um, which is where I've spent a good bit of the last week. And so what I'm going to try and do uh, is just take a walk down the, uh, down the trail uh, while, while recording. We tried this yesterday and it didn't really work, so this is, this is actually take two, uh, and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It's one of the reasons that I wanted to come out here is that this has been a really special place for me in the, in the short time that we've been here in New York. I was in class for my Doctorate of Ministry coursework um, most of last week, and we'd have a morning class and an afternoon class, and in between, I'd usually come out for a hike or a run out here somewhere. And that would be a good opportunity to really focus my, my thoughts and attention and figure out what exactly I wanted to say to the congregation based on, on uh, what we were learning in class. So that's really what I'm trying to recreate in these updates, is this sense of a place that's pretty empty, but it's a place where we can think and talk about what the future of the congregation looks like. So I wanna start by thinking about change. It's cliched in churches to say that change is constant that that is the one thing that we can be sure won't change, is that the church will change. But we can actually think about change in a couple different ways, right? So the change that we usually think about as constant with churches is the change... Let's make sure the camera's working. Yes. The change that we usually think about in churches is the change where every year a third of our board turns over and, and we have a new board elected. Or we know that every couple of years some of our students from religious education will graduate and become adults. And that we'll have new board members to train, new children to teach. You know, churches have been doing this for a very, very long time with births and deaths and marriages. We are in the business of cyclical change. But that's not actually the only kind of change there is. One of the books that we read is by Roxburgh and Romanuk, and, and they talk about that, that cyclical change is, as continuous change. But they also talk about something they call discontinuous change. Discontinuous change is just qualitatively different. Moments of discontinuous change are unpredictable. They have hard to predict consequences that can profoundly change institutions caught up in them. You can think of the baby boom, the industrial revolution, technological revolution, climate change. All of these things are significant discontinuous changes. Donald Rumsfeld tried to get at this um, distinction, or one very like it, when he talked about known unknowns and unknown unknowns. That there are things that we know that we don't know, but that we can prepare for. But the things that we really struggle with are the things that we don't know that we're unprepared for. And if you think about it, we're in the midst of a massive, massive discontinuous change right now. COVID-19 is the textbook example of what a discontinuous change in a culture looks like. So that's where we'll pick up tomorrow.